Oh, hello. My name is Professor Pablo. Normally, I'd be out at an archaeological dig, but today, I'll be teaching you how to make my favorite pupcakes. Ta-da! Now I'm Chef Pablo. But before we get started, you'll need to go to the store and get these ingredients. Whole wheat flour, old-fashioned oats, baking powder, canned pumpkin, unsweetened applesauce, peanut butter, make sure it doesn't have xylitol or burnt sugar, vegetable oil, eggs, and carrots. To start off, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. The next step is to take a muffin tin and put in your muffin lighters. I picked these cupcake lighters because they have pumpkins on them and we're making pumpkin cupcakes. Alright, we'll need this later. Let's take care of the carrots. Peel and grate them. You'll need a peeler like this and a grater to make little carrot pieces. Oh, look how they turned out! And if you're quick, you could steal some before your human can stop you. And then we'll mix together ingredients. Get a big bowl like this one and grab your one cup measuring thingy. And put one cup of whole wheat flour in the bowl. Next up is a quarter cup of old-fashioned oats into that same bowl. Two teaspoons of baking powder gotta go in there too. Next up, you're gonna need a half cup of pumpkin puree. It doesn't matter if it's exact since it's just so gloopy. And feel free to lick the spatula since pumpkin is delicious. After that, put in a half cup of unsweetened applesauce. Ooh, that's some tasty applesauce. Oh, and here's the best part, the peanut butter. One half cup of peanut butter goes in there too. Then one fourth cup of vegetable oil. Two large eggs. Ugh, I always need help cracking the eggs. It's good to have an assistant. And lastly, we plop all those carrots we shredded in earlier. And we can mix it up. Oh, perfect. So goopy. Now we can put it into the cupcake tin. Using a scoop helps. Oh yeah, perfectly portioned. Now we bake them. And while it bakes, we can mix up the frosting. Luckily, it's just two ingredients. Peanut butter and Greek yogurt. One cup of each. Now we mix them together. Yep, that frosting looks delicious. And here are our cupcakes fresh out of the oven. Oh, gotta resist the urge to eat them right away. And you could either spread the frosting on, but uh, it's kind of hard. Or have an assistant use a plastic baggie. Oh, you missed a spot. And you could cut a hole and feed it directly to Pablo. I mean, uh, then you could frost the cupcakes. Look it good. Now it just needs a finishing touch. Crumble milk bone treats on top. Ooh la la. Now that is a fancy pupcake. Let, let's test that. Oh yeah, very good. Oh yeah, so delicious. Oh, thank you all so much for watching Chef Pablo.